it's kind of funny how I watch it, you know, I film the videos, people watch them, and they get in tune, a lot of the people, a lot of y'all who watch them, know these machines well, and keep up with them, and know certain characteristics about them, and, and all of that, and uh, it's kind of, makes me realize sometimes how much people are into these machines ever since i was a little bitty boy that i can remember that's all i wanted to do was uh run a machine or tractor or something and i've lived my entire life since i was about four or five to now i'm 47 and that's what i've been able to do that machine right there, I've had it since it was new. And uh, it hit 18,000 hours yesterday. So uh, that's pretty cool. That's a 200 Hitachi is what that is. A 200 Hitachi on steroids. Normal 200 excavator weighs about 45,000 or so, give or take. That machine right there weighs about 70, right around 70,000 pounds is what it weighs. Everything on it is beefed up. I mean, it's just uh, bigger swing bearing. Everything on it's beefier. But it's based off of 200. It's got 200 uh, pump, air, all that stuff on it. This machine right here is a 270 size machine. This, of course, is a processor. And this machine weighs uh, in the 80s. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and crank it up. I'm out of wood. I loaded it. Kevin was broke down all day yesterday. Uh, I'm completely out of wood. So he's got the problem. We're finishing the job. I mean, Derek's gone. We've already loaded Derek. He's gone. And uh, let me get this cab unlocked. All right. So those of y'all who are new to the channel, who came over from Chris's channel, let's dig. You know, I'm fixing to show y'all something that's really cool. This machine, it's just got triggers on the front of it right there, which that's not really cool, but they're two-way triggers on both sticks there. This is what's fixing to get really cool. All right, this machine is ran off a of PC. There's 20 buttons. If you add the two triggers on the front, there's 20 on each side. So you got all these. These are called soft keys, and here's your main ones right here. And then, of course, the trigger in the same way on this side. All right, let's crank this old girl up. See, there's this computer screen. There's this keyboard. Get her going here. See, there's the guts to the computer. It'll take it just a second. All right, so, hang on. Open it all the way up. All right, there's your diameters right there. That's your diameter to your what the what the buddy is right there what it's going to be that's what the wheels are opened up to right there right now and that's of course the top diameter in red same thing that's the saw the measurement at the saw on the butt saw that's the measurement on the top saw so those saws are exactly five feet and six inches apart is what they are man can y'all see those rays of light coming through those clouds over there from the sun that's cool it's hard to see that in the office somewhere. Very cool. I film Kevin messing with some of this hardwood here. Cause that's basically all we're running right now to finish this job up. Spins it around to cut those larger uh, tops like that with the butt saw because the pivot point of the saw is a lot lower down there on the head. So like right now, when he cuts through it, his saw is going to be kind of horizontal. But whereas the topping saw, the pivot point is higher up in the box. So when your saw comes down, it's like this. So when the top comes out of it, 
it, it, it wants to grab your bar, it wants to pinch your bar, so that's why he, cut, he turns them around there. I got messages coming in left and right. Hang on there, let me see what's going on. So he's cutting limbs out over there and then he's taking the head and he's turning it sideways. I should have, I didn't realize that's what he was doing until he done. That tree ain't no good there. He was gonna cut that thing. It's rotten, I guess, because he put in a whole tree in the front of the wood. And we about got to be done here. Get Chad coming in here. Get on up here for both. Just a bunch of pulp wood right there. Across the horizon over there on the other side of the cabin. Ain't nothing but timber as far as you can see. There's so much wood. We can't, all of us at log, there's no way we could cut it all. It's, it's growing faster than what we can cut it. People have been saying for 30 years we were going to cut all the timber. Heck, we're already going back. We're cutting timber that was cut over back 30 years ago. <laughs> Again, already. This done grown back, man. It's just people see, see these cutovers and they freak out, you know? But I tell you, logging, log, logging is a lot less impactful on, on getting the timber off, harvesting the timber than what Mother Nature ever thought about being, man. Mother Nature is ruthless, son. When they, when she takes timber, when she logs, and she logs it, she just puts it on the ground. She don't haul it to the mill or anything. She just leaves it in a mess.
I think I eat that hard with it. It doesn't really, it doesn't really phase it none. What's so cool about the processor is, is okay, so he's running that tree. You got to pull through D-limber. You just pulled that tree. You cut the top out of it. He just dropped it in a pile. All right. You still got to back that tree up with a pull through and heal it and swing it and lay it in the pile. And he's already done grabbed another one and running another one right there already. See, you just don't, you don't really realize how fast that machine is till you get here and you stand here and you watch it for a little bit, what it'll do. Fork. See how you got that fork out right there right quick? That's another thing that's tough on a loader. You would have to put that in a uh, cutoff saw or either cut it out with the pull through and then the skitter would have had to re-grab it to get it back up to you or you would have to reach down to get it out of the cutoff saw and then put it in a pile. See it go right around that crook. mosey back over here to my loader let's see what time it is it's uh 10 41 right now we're still running drags i'm not sure how much chaz got left out there dad's moving machines right now too over to the to the new new place which is another cleanup job that we got to go back to to finish we've had uh this one we had four total and uh we got this one we knocked this one out in just a week right here finishing it up and so we're going to go back to another one that's uh from where we're at it's probably six seven miles north of here by the way the crow flies by driving it's probably 15 miles or better i would imagine maybe a little further than that And then after we cut that one, we'll have uh, two more. Now that's some 
good trees right there in that drag. For those of y'all who don't know, that's a 6.7 liter Cummins in that machine set at 295 horsepower. It's uh. I had a question the other day when I filmed that thing, ask you know if you could tune it any more. I think that's about all that you could possibly get out of that out of that six seven right there, the way that it is. You could probably push it a little bit more, but your longevity of it wouldn't probably it probably wouldn't last. I wouldn't think because you got you kind of got a borderline right there, and I think that Tiger Cat and Cummins has got that one tweaked as about as much as you could possibly go on it to get as much out of it all right squirt the dirt <laughs> 